What's going on, you beautiful people? It's your boy, Where's Fluffy, from FOG Networks, bringing you another Dauntless Bill Guide. And today we're going with the Austin Repeaters. I'm going to be explaining this very high risk, high reward build. So I named this build the Godspeed build just because it involves shooting really fast and doing a lot of DPS, which, let's be honest, everybody pretty much loves. I like the Austin Repeaters a lot, and I think this is probably my second main, and especially with this build, I'm loving it a lot, and I'm going to go over exactly what this build does and entails and how it works. I call this build high risk just because you have to be under 50% health at all times to be able to activate a lot of these perks but they're essentially very rewarding in my opinion especially if you're really good at dodging and being able to constantly sit there and hit your shots this build is perfect for you so first things first we're going to go ahead and go over the perk summary as you can see we have the plus rage six plus six wild frenzy evasion can be a plus six rage hunter can be a plus six aether attunement plus three cunning plus three and iceborne can be a plus three now rage and wild frenzy are really important and this is because you need to be under 50% health. Now, being under 50% health for plus 6 rage, you get a plus 25% damage, boost, which is why this is important. And then with Wild Frenzy, you get a plus 25% speed boost to your attack. So both of these are really important for the ISD and repeaters because you want to constantly be shooting off and popping off as fast as you can, especially with this build. Evasion is here for giving you more time to not take damage, especially if you get caught up by certain behemoths and you sort of mess up your timing. You know, it gives you room to you know be able to make some mistakes or timing timings just to be a little bit off rage hunter like i said can be plus six so you can get the extra 40 percent damage unfortunately i don't have the plus three cell for it so it's just sitting at a currently plus five which isn't too bad either aether attunement you know lantern charge i'm using drastic eye again like i did with the hunger build to constantly get out them shock attacks you know it lands three to five times does around 150 damage plus you get a damage buff from drask eye has your whole cunning since you're going to be shooting super fast with this build enabling you to crit a lot more and i think this is the perfect one for this build especially when you see like the rest of it iceborne coming from barrio march just because you want to take less damage especially if you're under 50 percent and that was i felt like a good way to you know take less damage especially with this build since you don't want to get put down and end up risking having to heal above 50% so then you're missing out on most of your damage. So in order to sort of combat that along with Iceborne, once you get under 50% enough, I like to take a Bulwark Tonic just because I can take essentially, you know, a lot less damage if I do end up getting hit at any point in time. So I feel like that's really helpful. But if you have the skills, you know, more power to you, you can replace this for a different tonic and you know, go to work with that. But uh, for new players, especially not like really experienced, this is definitely the way to go. Please go ball work. Bliss tonic, obviously, because it grants 10 to 30% increased attack speed based on health missing for 60 seconds. That health missing and an attack speed go pair and pair. That's really important. You put this on along with what you get from Wild Frenzy and because you're missing health, you're getting increased hack speed. So that's why this one is important. Frenzy Tonic, you're getting 50% increased damage for 60 seconds. But if the Behemoth is enraged, 30% extra damage if it's enraged. So this kind of pairs in with Rage Hunter. So both of these really help out in maximizing your DPS, especially when the Behemoth is enraged a lot. Now we're going to be going over with armors and what you should take for the Austin Repeaters. For the barrel, it doesn't really matter what you take because it just depends on what behemoth you're going against if you want to do more damage or if you currently don't have one. Like, I don't have one. Like, my highest ones are Storm and Ice. So, you know, obviously, if I'm against a fire, I'm going to use the Ice. And if I'm against Terror, I'm going to use the Storm. It just helps out and works that way. The chamber doesn't really matter either. I preferably like the full board chamber. It's, it's simple. It's easy to use. I'm probably going to end up switching over to the marksman chamber because I like that 250 you know part damage plus it stacks really well with the rest of this build as you'll see like I said if you have marksman chamber power it up take marksman chamber over four board chamber four board chamber is just my highest so I definitely take it but marksman chamber over four board chamber with this build as far as the grip definitely go with crafting's grip because you want another buff at 20% of taxi for 15 seconds when collected and you know the empower you don't have to really empower this build doesn't force you to try and stay close to the behemoth and try and get those empower shots because you're getting more dps from just not banning it so it kind of balances it out precision sights 
is definitely the go-to when it comes to what you want this mod to be. Just because you deal 8 increased damage when attacking the same part multiple times and it stacks up to 5 times. So say if you're focusing ahead, especially with this build, you're going to stack this insanely fast. It's going to be super crazy. And you're just doing increased damage from there. So everything this build is giving you is just stacking damage on top of damage as fast as possible. This is why I call it the guide to speed. Searing Prism is definitely a must when it comes to this. Just because the 10th hit in quick succession does 250 bonus damage and major blaze damage. You want this because it's a DPS build since you're going to be shooting and gaining a lot of attack speed. You constantly want this buff to go off. So this is the best one for this build since you're going to be hitting that 10th hit super, super fast with this. And I'll basically show you how the build essentially works inside a game. Now, along with those mods, I ended up putting Wild Frenzy into my gun and then an evasion cell just to help with, like I said, that dodge early on. The Strike Down Helm, just because it gives you that evasion, also pop. Also, it has a technique perk slot, so you put Wild Frenzy into that one too, and that's where you get your plus six from. Then you want to take Dark Knight because it gives you a plus three rage and a power cell, and I put Rage Hunter plus three into that cell. Nasher Grip for the Rage Hunter, a plus ten Nasher's Grip will net you a plus three Rage Hunter. And then you just throw another Rage Cell into it, and that's how you get your plus six Rage, and you're pretty much good from there. Boreal March, just because this one gives you Iceborne, a uh, fully upgraded plus 10 Boreal March will give you that plus three Iceborne, so you're taking even less damage. And then it also has a Technique Cell, so you put Cunning into that one, and grants a chance to deal double damage. Now, obviously, you don't have to put exactly how I did it, it's just the way I sort of set it up. And then last but not least, you have Drax Eye, because you get another increased damage buff, for six seconds and you get that lightning ball that I love so much and put a thick attunement into this so you can lightning strike constantly that lightning strike is going to be stacking insanely fast so you want to be using that awful cooldown especially with this build so last but not least that's the full build I'm going to go ahead and show you a small clip or two exactly how the build should work and what you'll be getting from it and how to set everything up all right, so step one, get the 50% off, obviously don't pop any potions just yet you know just from here on out you kind of have that stack so you want to just be doing DPS here. Or you focus one area, the higher that DPS comes, and then you just see it like that. And this isn't, this isn't even the fun part, so. Alright, now here's the here's the really fun part. You got We got everything stacked. You want to pop a damage potion, speed potion, drop the buff, bam, X, pow. Okay, you see that? And then just insane amount of DPS from there. 979, in quick succession. Look at this build is fucking beautiful. The more pick up a buff, bam. The more attack speed you can stack, the better. Like I said. And the damage is just fucking insane. And this is the god speed though right here. So that's pretty much it, and that's all I have for you today. This is the guy speed build by your boy Where's Fluffy. You heard it here first. You see it in here first. So if you're out there rocking that, show your boy some love and tell your friends where you got it from. We're going to be trying to drop a lot more builds for you as time goes along. But uh, until next time, it's been real. It's been fun. Y'all have a blessed one. And peace.